Ever wondered how something as solid as a bridge can suddenly start wobbling and tear itself apart? Welcome to Oddly Useless, where today we're diving into the shocking physics of resonance catastrophe. Imagine pushing a friend on a swing. You time your pushes just right, and they go higher and higher with very little effort. That's resonance in a nutshell. Everything, from a tiny wine glass to a massive skyscraper, has a natural frequency, a specific rhythm at which it loves to vibrate. If an outside force, like the wind, or even footsteps, starts pushing it at that exact same rhythm, the energy transfer becomes incredibly efficient. The object starts to oscillate, and the vibrations or amplitudes get bigger and bigger, dot dot dot, and bigger. This is where things get dangerous. Resonance catastrophe happens when these vibrations grow so large that they overwhelm the structure's ability to handle them. The energy being pumped in is far greater than the energy the structure can safely dissipate. The result? Catastrophic failure? The system literally shakes itself to pieces. The most infamous example is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, nicknamed Galloping Gertie, in 1940. Just four months after it opened, a moderate wind of about 40 miles per hour hit the bridge at just the wrong angle. This created a complex aerodynamic effect that matched the bridge's natural twisting frequency. The bridge began to heave and twist violently, with the road deck swinging up and down by several feet. The oscillations grew uncontrollably until the entire central span buckled, twisted, and collapsed into the river below. While the physics is a bit more complex than simple resonance, it's actually called aeroelastic flutter it remains the classic textbook example of a structure vibrating itself to disaster. So, how do we stop our modern world from shaking apart? Engineers have gotten incredibly clever about this. First, during the design phase. They use complex calculations and simulations to make sure a structure's natural frequency is nowhere near any expected forces. Like typical wind speeds, earthquake tremors, or even the rhythmic marching of soldiers. Oh, but they don't stop there. Many modern skyscrapers and bridges have built-in dampers. Think of them as giant shock absorbers. So the next time you're driving over a long bridge or looking up at a towering skyscraper, take a moment to appreciate the invisible battle being fought. Hidden within its steel and concrete is a constant defense against an unseen enemy called resonance. If you found this oddly looseless and fascinating, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and join me next time for more deep dives into the hidden science of our world. Thanks for watching.